What's your bartending style? You have to be able to make drinks quickly all while connecting with every guest. It's very fun. I'm at a loss. Makes your drink taste better. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't have anything to pour. Yeah, you'd have to work on that. Brutal honesty, have you ever entered a Steven Seagal lookalike contest? <laughs> there is an uncanny resemblance. Yeah, almost creepy. So let me ask you a question. And I don't want this to come across weird, but are you single? And the reason that I ask that is sometimes relationships can be a headache, especially in the bar business. Well, who's getting creepy now? She knows what I'm talking about. Emily, very nice to meet you. You too, Nick. It's nice pleasure. to meet you. I don't think you're allowed to ask, but their personal lives like that it has nothing to do with their professional well, life. It's just, it's just talking back and forth. We'll hook her up to a lie detector <laughs> test next time. <laughs> need... Doing these interviews with Aaron has definitely been uh, an experience. Anytime you guys need anything, man, I got to get out of here and get home. I'll leave my notes for you. <laughs> I'm not sure I can read it. I know Aaron's intentions are good, but I really need Drew to be a part of doing these next round of interviews. Well, you just missed a riveting round of interviews. Did you find anybody that you liked at all? Bottom line is, I think we got to do another round of interviews tomorrow. I think you got to be here. This is a big hire. Well, I, I, I have some stuff I have to take care of tomorrow. Well, postpone it. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, what's more important than hiring our star bartender? I guess I'll be there for the next round. That's my partner. Right. If we don't find our, our rock star bartender tomorrow, we're really in trouble. I mean, opening's right around the corner.